This time they shift into the midfield. Sammy Sullivan, one of the best rookies we've seen in the 2023 season. Giving the fake inside was Canet. No, Competing was Lefal Focasalia. No, Didn't get the ball back, though. Sullivan. Kershey. Kershey trying to find some space. Tegan Levi throwing her down towards the touchline, though. Ten metres out. Imbut looking for that late cut. Can it? Dancing with Kaslik at the moment. Moving out to the left. Imba again with a little offload behind her back. Cedric just fighting. Tapper passes it out into the middle of the field. This is better stuff from the USA running at pace. And Kershey. It's going to go all the way, and the USA are the first on the board in the semi-final. It's a great score from Christy Kershey. You see her dad there in the stands. And what a start. Just composure from the United States. And not risk turning it over against a very good Australian team. And that's exactly what they're going to do. They're not going to take any chances with the amount of threats that are on the park for Australia. So, uncharacteristic mistakes from Australia. The USA are in the lead 5-0 in the first cup semi-final here in Toulouse. After a very close first half, and we're very lucky to be joined by the head coach of Australia. Tim, what was the message at the half, considering you find yourselves down? We're our own worst enemy, and there's another example of it there. Approach. As you say, Abby, Australia is so good in broken play, Five. but because... The USA have managed to slow this down due Set. to their errors. They haven't allowed them into this game to unleash the speed that they have. Olsen comes down to the left. Great spot tackle coming in from Faith Nathan. Again, they go to this left edge. Here's Cedric. She's had a good tournament for the USA. Burrowed in over the touchline, though, by none other than Charlotte Kaslick. And this is when you want your captain to start standing up. Happy to play. Well, she goes quickly, and it's a high tackle coming in from Elena Olsen on Tegan I Levi. Ten, Penalty ten. only, though. Tegan Levi decides to go quickly. Recovered instantly from the high tackle. Pucky, late cut on the inside to Madison Levi, and she is just roaring down that left edge. Straightens up to go under the post, and Australia make them pay. By seven tries to her name this weekend, and it was such a simple slice up the United States defensive wall. Coming across, they have that third defender trying to make that tackle, but Maddie Levi really cut the seam perfectly, throws out the right fend to Doyle, and she coasts down the pitch. So first visit to the 22 for the Australia side, but... Conversion is successful as well, so they lead seven points to five, which is completely against the run of play because it really has been all the USA. Kershey finds Thomas newly onto the field as well, but she is driven backwards. Good strength being shown from oh. Nafal Fokasalia. Still, though, inside their own 22. In fact, just outside their five, and this is better from Kershey Kelter. Really need to find some space. Here comes Pucky just shutting in on that line on defence. Tackle! Haven't managed to exit their own 22, though. Can they do it this time? Dancing around is Harris-Jones. This time they fire out Naya Tapper. She hasn't had her hands on the ball much at all. And she says, sit down, accelerate. Charging towards the line. Here comes Maddie Levi. She's giving it her all in the chase, but Naya Tapper stood up when she needed to. And look at what it means to Sammy Sullivan. We'll have a look at the captain, Naya Tapper. She's talking to her teammate, Chris Thomas, the entire time. Sit down, Faith Nathan. Naya Tapper, ladies and gentlemen. Scintillating performance there. She finally got it in her hands and came up clutch. And again, it's that same scoreline we saw in Hamilton. Ten points to the United States, seven points to the Aussie.